you friends welcome to another video i have a hundred dollars here today that i am actually going to stuff into my future binder super excited about it as always because i feel like my future binder is one of those binders that i really don't get to look at and i don't get to see that often also the bank gave me money that curls up so i'm going to be looking at this slightly annoyed by it but also knowing that it's just going into envelopes i hope with wherever you are right now that you're doing great and that when I started budgeting and doing videos I would actually pull out my my binders and I would look at them as I was watching other videos and if that is someone like you I hope that you're sitting and you're looking at your binders and you're working on your money games too okay I have an L buck and I have a C buck and I'm gonna put them aside this is what the bank gave me and this reminds me of Tara Tara life over debt her crappy ones that she sent me the other great news that I have is ten dollars in tip money from my barista job and you guys know where the tip money goes but I'm also going to add an extra five no I think I'm gonna add an extra let's let's figure this out so here's last week's tip money so now we have 15 I'm gonna add an extra five to make that 20 and then I'm gonna add this 20 in here too so we get to add two extra stickers to my week ahead this is my long-term emergency fund and I am just trying to get month ahead bit by bit and quite literally week by week and this just it is truly I had no idea how much that this would actually become my favorite savings challenge and it was one of those things that I realized lately just the dopamine rush actually hits it's not the dopamine rush from from spending money it's actually a dopamine rush from having security and feeling like I'm working on my future so for this week ahead which is now week four uh, it is 100 150 in the bank 170 190 we get to use another placeholder 200 220 and oh, it's gonna be a thousand dollars by the time and it really is proof that just working at it and doing the best that you can with your budget is sometimes just good enough and the realistic the the thing that has been on my heart this week by the way i'm moving to this because this is where we finished last time the thing that's been on my heart is just honestly that I feel like this year I'm not having the wins that I had last year just because my income has been so severely affected with my layoff. We owe this $1 from last time so this is officially paid off and now let's roll again and see what we're paying today. So $6 I figured you know it would hit that hard but yeah it's one of those things where I realize because I have a lot more limited income right now that I feel like I'm not getting some of those budgeting wins and maybe you're the same way and then I just have to tell myself that this is just really the proof of of budgeting and that it is not all fun and excitement and hitting targets and being able to finish savings challenges it really is just actually putting in the work and knowing like you don't build a house and it's just magically there you literally build it brick by brick component by component and those things take actual time and it's it's these are the things that when I'm driving to work and I'm I'm looking at the different things that I'm doing to try and generate income I just have to remind myself it truly is it is the effort it is the intent and even though the reward isn't immediate and it isn't something that is big and crazy and insane um, the reward will come I just have to I have to be patient for it my uh, my friends had a saying when I was growing up that you know patience is a virtue catch it if you can always in a woman never in a man and then they would they knew that I was impatient and the disclaimer was except with Liz so <laughs> um, they these were my high school friends and I know that they meant well that so we're gonna do one and I'm gonna roll this again so now we're gonna add four dollars this is the great Gatsby from savings on the up and I'm actually gonna add five so there we go did a little bill condensing too and we'll just color this in 
But yeah, so I budgeting has taught me a lot about patience just because I I am not a patient person. Uh, Friday was probably my worst day at Murbox at my barista job. And I I cried. I cried over coffee. I cried at how bad I was at coffee. And now just thinking about it, I'm I'm making myself all emotional about everything. It one of the people who I was working with is not the regular shift supervisor, and I just I literally felt like I made every single mistake and I had to talk myself off the ledge. This is from Joe with the Still Trying Mama, and I'm gonna do $4 today, and it's also from Faithy to her daughter. But yeah, it is one of those things that I've had to tell myself that I, I have only worked 12 actual on-the-job shifts, and I need to be kinder to myself. I, I am struggling with that, um, and I it was some dumb mistakes. So if you know the drink sizes, there is a tall drink, which is the shortest drink. And then there is the largest drink is called a Trenta. And when you look at the stickers, the TL and the TR for tall, so tall being the smallest and Trenta being the largest, like they look very much the same on stickers. And I made three drinks in a row that were the wrong size. And that was one of the issues. The other issue was I didn't know, that, like some of the things that we have to do, like we have to check the date dots for food. And I didn't know. This is from Mandy with Mandy's Budgeting Journey and Mandy's Budgeting Items. I'm gonna roll this again. So I'm gonna add three in this today. And I, I inadvertently gave someone oatmeal with moldy blueberries. So they called to complain about that. Let's see what else. There was another complaint. Um, this man was sent in with three drink orders and I asked for clarification on one of them. This wasn't my fault. And I even spoke to the person who wanted the, the, the drinks. Let me tell you, she came in, she complained, she was not a nice person. Um, and that just broke my heart a little bit too. This is from Tuatu, Tuatu, and our friend Chris Gilmore, and I'm putting $10 in today. And she was not nice and she called in and of course her drinks were given to her for free. And then the other thing was a lady whose actual name was Karen. I, I was on the drive-thru and she had placed a drive-thru order and I looked at someone's name and I saw a K and I said, I'll oh, come on through. And it wasn't actually her order. And the issue was that she had to, we had, she had to, she tried to place her order on her phone, but she was dealing with phone calls. She thought it went through because we said, come on through and it wasn't ready. And so then she had to go back in line and wait again. I know in the grand scheme of things that um, <laughs> if it is the worst part of your day that you don't get your coffee on time, I understand that, but also it just, it felt like it was just the longest day where I just, I couldn't do anything right. And that's when I, you know, I internalize things. I, oh, dang, I hate that I'm so upset over coffee, but I just, the whole point of this is that I feel like it's also just a great life lesson. This is from K2W Planning and Budgeting that I know that I'm looking at my my progress is like here and other people are look their their progress is here and i'm looking at them thinking i should be at this level and again just trying to be aware that i did i already roll this i'm going to roll it again i am just trying to do the best i can with the knowledge that i have at the time and i feel like that is just true for this budgeting world okay we have 3 i'm going to roll it again and we're gonna add seven today. So if you are like me, and if you are trying to do something new, I hope that you give yourself some grace too, just like 
I am actively, I am not all the way there with giving myself grace, but uh, dang it, I am trying. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we're gonna do a little bit of condensing right now. And there we go. We can take care of that and make this all nice and neat and organized. So it is, one of the it is hard to do something new and that is the whole the whole point of what I'm trying to say and share and that yeah this giving yourself grace and learning new things is not fun and it's not easy <laughs> and I feel like I am just I am just lost in the weeds sometimes. Even, you know, they ask to you to do something or that, you know, Liz jump in here. And it takes me like 15 seconds to get my bearings, to figure out what am I, what am I doing? Where am I going? What am I supposed to do? And especially it was, Liz, do this, Liz, do this. And I, sometimes I'm like, wait, is it, is it just me? Like, do I have unnecessary expectations? Um, I know that they're trying to get staffing in the place where they need staffing the most. So it is just, it is all about just giving yourself some time and some space. And all I can think is if you're in the budgeting world, I hope you're giving yourself time and space too. This is from Wendy, my friend Wendy with the Thrifty Sewers. So one, two, and each little paw print is a dollar. So we're just gonna add two to that today. One, two, and I think we're gonna roll again because that seems like something fun to do. Uh, so now we're at five, one, two, three, four, five. Steal a snack from a camp spot, save seven. So we're gonna add, what's that, $12 now? Okay, okay, we can do it, we can do it. And this is that whole thing that all the money adds up. Um, <laughs> you know what, some days I like I think about Tracy and how much she laughs with her videos and right now I just feel like, oh, where is the laughter in me? 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So let's do this and this, there we go. That makes me feel a whole lot better. Um, I love this challenge. I love it so much and it is just, Again, this binder is probably full of some of my favorite challenges just because I did go through the things that I've purchased on Etsy and I, I did download a few ones and this was one that I already completed last year and I loved it so much that I had to do it again. This one is from Kip and Lou. It's a pie eating contest. And where are we at right now? I always seem to do this wrong, but we're gonna add $4 today. So let's take this and we're just gonna color in. Look, we're knocking off the $4 one. The, this is a challenge that I actually envisioned taking the entire year. And now that we're, we're at the end of April, I think maybe it will take longer than a year, which is insane and crazy to me. And then also we have this next one from Coffee and Budget, but she's known as Coffee and Romance on Instagram. And yep, I started it in January. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we will add seven whole dollars here. And I am just gonna do this and do this. And I am gonna put this off to the side so that I can color it in later. And then that way we can move forward. I can't, there we go. I can't bill condense anymore. So we are just going to accept where the money is right now. And sometimes the big little stacks of money I mean, they feel, they feel nice. Um, work shifts, I've, I actually have been picking up some additional shifts just to make some more money. I, I've swapped a few shifts and what I have decided is the shifts that I love the most are the shifts that are actually first thing in the day so I feel like I can get everything done and out of the way. There's another L buck. We'll put that there. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll color in just one of these little things of champers. And this is from Phoebe with Mori Temi Savings. This was something that she sent me over Christmas. I'm so grateful for it. Um, I don't do anything for New Year's, but I just figured on the off chance that I might, it would be 
a fun little savings challenge to have to have to look forward to okay we are back to the beginning with Peep my savings from Cats Hate My Budget. I, by the way, she did a video the other day with this, some book reviews. Go and check it out because it was such a good book. I love listening to budgeting videos that have different perspectives on different things. And Chelsea does a great job. So we are just pretending that we rolled a two on this one <laughs> just so I can keep track. We'll color this bunny in. But that was it. I mean, that was $100, but it feels so good that I was able to put that most of that money into my my month ahead savings because that really is the aim of my future just to be able to sit back and have some money in my long-term savings and my long-term emergency fund I do have something nervous coming up because in a year my lease is going to end on my house and now without traditional full-time employment I'm not going to be in a position to get a mortgage so I'm going to have to look at renting and it is just something that's on my heart that that year is actually going to go pretty fast so that's why for me right now just working on my long-term savings is just one of the most the highest priority that I have but I am so glad that you guys are here chime in with a comment below let me know how your day is going and what you're struggling with learning right now and I will see you guys next time bye